Hey everybody, welcome back. Talking today, of course, about what's been all over the media for the last few days, and that is the Chinese weather balloon that blew off course <laughs> over the United States, and apparently coast to coast pretty much, right? As well as others that have been sighted, including over Latin America. And they say, oh, it was an accident, so on and so forth. There's some points to be made about this, and we'll get into that in a little bit. We're going to take a look at an article first. I'll read through an article with you. And this is from ABC News. And, you know, pick your own news source. It doesn't matter. I just usually pick one randomly. But it's going to be the same information wherever you get it. It says, U.S. downs Chinese balloon drawing a threat from China. Well, if it's only a weather balloon and it's over airspace of another country, why do you want to make threats about it unless there's something else going on? It says China is threatening what it calls further actions after an American fighter jet shot down a suspected spy balloon off the east coast of the United States on Saturday. Too little, too late. Washington, the U.S. military on Saturday shot down a suspected Chinese spy balloon off the Carolina coast after it traversed sensitive military sites across North America. China insisted the flyover was an accident involving a civilian aircraft and threatened repercussions. So, ironically enough, it's over military installations that this thing passed? Yeah, it's an accident. President Joe Biden issued the order, but had wanted the balloon downed even earlier on Wednesday. He was advised that the best time for the operation would be when it was over water, U.S. officials said. Don't know if that's true or not or makes any sense. Military officials determined that bringing it down over land from an altitude of 60,000 feet would pose an undue risk to people on the ground. China, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter to the airlines when they dump fuel or waste from their toilets overpopulated area from that height, but what do I know? China responded that it reserved the right to take further action and criticized the U.S. for an obvious overreaction and a serious violation of international practice. And I'll point out, this is not the first time this has happened. People are acting like this is all brand new. China has done this several times in the past. But let's keep into this article. And I'm not going to read the whole thing because there's a lot. This goes on and on and on, and I try to avoid too much redundancy. But I'll go through a couple of pages of it. In its statement Sunday, China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs said that China will resolutely uphold the relevant company's legitimate rights and interests, and at the same time reserving the right to take further actions in response. China's Ministry of Defense echoed the statement later in the day, saying it reserves the right to take necessary measures to deal with similar situations, basically idle threats. The presence of the balloon in the skies above the U.S. this week dealt a severe blow to already strained U.S.-Chinese relations that have been in a downward spiral for years, decades more likely. It prompted Secretary of State Antony Blinken to abruptly cancel a high-stakes Beijing trip aimed at easing tensions. So it's tense and you cancel your one opportunity to try to defuse some of it? Okay. They successfully took it down, and I want to compliment our aviators who did it. How hard is it to shoot down a, a balloon? Biden said after getting off Air Force One en route to Camp David. The giant white orb was spotted Saturday morning over the Carolinas as it approached the Atlantic coast about 2.39 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. An F-22 fighter jet fired a missile at the balloon, puncturing it while it was about six nautical miles off the coast near Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, senior defense officials said. The spectacle had Americans looking to the skies all week, wondering whether the mysterious balloon had floated over them. I doubt it. Uh, I, apparently, it was only floating over sensitive areas. On Saturday, Ashlyn Pruse, 33, went out to get her mail in Forest Brook, South Carolina, and noticed her neighbors looking up. Oh, that's all gobbledygook. I'll just skip that over. The debris landed in 47 feet of water, shallower than officials had expected, and it spread out over roughly seven miles, and the recovery operation included several ships. The officials estimated the recovery efforts would be completed in a short time, not weeks. A salvage vessel was en route. So you expect it to not be able to collect it from where you put it down. That's interesting, too. U.S. defense and military officials said Saturday that the balloon entered the U.S. air defense zone north of the 
Aleutian Islands on January 28th and moved largely over land across Alaska and then into, into Canadian airspace in the Northwest Territories on Monday. It crossed back into U.S. territory over Northern Idaho on Tuesday, the day the White House said Biden was first briefed on it. The balloon was spotted Wednesday over Montana, home to Malmstrom Air Force Base, which has fields of nuclear missile silos. What a coincidence. The Americans were able to collect intelligence on the balloon as it flew over the U.S., giving them a number of days to analyze it and learn how it moved and what it was capable of surveilling, according to two senior defense officials. The officials briefed reporters on condition of anonymity. The officials said that the U.S. military was constantly assessing the threat and concluded that the technology on the balloon didn't give the Chinese significant intelligence beyond what could already obtain from satellites. How do you know without actually physically examining it? Just saying. Though the U.S. took steps to mitigate what information it could gather as it moved along. And it goes on, Republicans were critical of Biden's response. Allowing a spy balloon from the Communist Party of China to travel across the entire continental United States before contesting its presence is a disastrous projection of weakness by the White House. I agree with that. Uh, cutting ahead here to Thomas Tillis. Now that this embarrassing episode is over, we need answers from the Biden administration on the decision-making process. Communist China was allowed to violate American sovereignty unimpeded for days. We must do better. We must be better prepared for future provocations and incursions by the CCP. And there's some thanks to the men and women of the military. And down on the bottom paragraph, China has claimed that the balloon was merely a weather research airship that had been blown off course. The Pentagon rejected that out of hand, as well as China's contention that it was not being used for surveillance and had only limited navigational ability. If it blew off course, they could have got it back if they really wanted to. The Chinese government on Saturday sought to play down the cancellation of Blinken's trip. In actuality, the U.S. and China have never announced any visit. The U.S. making any such announcement is their own business, and we respect that, China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs said in a statement. So they're denying that he was coming. They think that he's just blowing hot air, or that's what they're claiming. The Pentagon also acknowledged reports of a second balloon flying over Latin America. We now assess it as another Chinese surveillance balloon. Brigadier General Pat Ryder, Pentagon Press Secretary, said in a statement, officials said the balloons are part of a fleet that China uses for surveillance and they can be maneuvered remotely through small motors and propellers. On and on, we kind of gathered that. China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, jumping ahead here, did not immediately respond to a question about the second balloon. I heard there was more than two. This isn't the first time, and this is critical right here, and I'm going to stop reading through the article. Again, this is... Uh, ABC News if you wanted to go back and look at the whole thing. This isn't the first time Chinese spy balloons have crossed into U.S. airspace in recent years, one of the officials said, at least three times during the Trump administration and at least one other time during Biden's time as president. They've seen balloons cross, but not for this long, the official said. And I'm sure there's a lot more to it than that. I'm sure that this has been going on a lot longer than just the last couple of administrations. Um, it could have been going back a decade, maybe more, where they were floating balloons over us. We might not have noticed, or we might have bought the whole weather balloon uh, surveillance BS that they're trying to feed us. We all spy on each other. Let's just put it that way. The uh, Chinese are spying on a bunch of countries, the Russians, the United States, Britain, any country that has that kind of technology is spying on their neighbors because none of them trust each other. That is the governments, I should say. The people usually have nothing to do with any of it. But the governments don't trust each other. They have a legitimate reason not to trust each other, partially because none of them are trustworthy anyways. <laughs> it's simple as that. It's as simple as that. This was too long. They should have shot it down immediately, I think. That's my opinion. They should have shot it down immediately, brought it down, recovered the debris, found out exactly what the hell it was. Once it violated air airspace, accidentally or not, it changes jurisdiction. If you were to fly a drone over controlled space, it would have been brought down and you would have been prosecuted. It happens all the time, even by accident. You fly a drone too close to a power station, a nuclear power plant, a coal power plant, uh, 
too close to any kind of military installation, an airport, they will bring it down and then they will come after you. But this thing floats across the whole damn country and nothing is done. Then they finally decide to shoot it down and they decide to shoot it down someplace where it was unlikely it would be recovered. But then the water was shallow enough that they can recover it. Now they got to go through this. And then they say, oh, well, it doesn't look like it could really surveil anything uh, in particular. But how do you know that without bringing it down? How do you know that without actually laying hands on it? There's a lot more to this than what we're being told. Um, aside from surveillance, again, this passed over military installations. Aside from just the surveillance aspect, it's a test on other fronts. How long can we do this before they take action? A test to see how we're going to react. What if they floated a balloon like this and it had a nuclear payload? and they detonated it in the atmosphere to cause an EMP to black out a section of the United States. That's plausible. But how come I'm thinking of this and they're not? Or maybe they have thought of it and they don't care. Maybe that's the ex that would be a great excuse to go full in to a war situation. Maybe that's what our government wants. Who knows? Who knows? But there's a lot more to this than what they're letting on. There's a lot more to this than what they're letting on. And there's been a lot of jokes about it. I put a bunch of memes in here to lighten it up just for the hell of it. But it's an interesting distraction. It shouldn't be allowed to happen. We ought to be a lot bolder. If we floated a balloon over there, there'd be hell to pay for it. And we'd be over here crawling and crying and apologizing. Or again, our government would. But there's so much that could be that could be said for the possibilities with a balloon. How long can we violate their airspace before they take action? Will they take action? What kind of action? Are they going to be apologetic about it? Are they going to be bold about it? There's a lot of things. I mean, you got to remember, we're dealing with a, a culture that uses analogical thought, not rational logical thought like we do. It's a different thought process, and unfortunately, many people in Western government don't understand how that works. Anyways, thoughts? Let me throw it out there, folks. I'd like to see what people have to say about all of that. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I hope you did. Share it if you can. Probably the only way it will get seen. If you saw some random cat images mixed in with the balloon memes, those are strays that my wife and I take care of, and images of them actually help with the loading algorithm on YouTube. If you would like to help the channel out, or the cats for that matter, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps, and we sure do appreciate it. And if that's it, then what more can I say? But stay tuned, folks, because there is more to come.